it's, it's difficult to describe how I felt. Um, I'm used to seeing the footage of, of what happened in, in the custody suite. Um, but what, what I found the most distressing is when I heard that he was sentenced to six months in jail and that he would be out in, could be out in three months. And I've had a sentence for two years after what's happened to me. Um, and it really doesn't seem fair. What do you think would have been more appropriate? The injuries that he caused you, your black eye, your nose bleeding, uh, what do you think would have been a more appropriate sentence for you? I don't know how sentencing works, but I, I, I get the feeling that if, if he'd been um, a member of the public that had um, assaulted me in that way, I, I think he would have got, got a greater sentence. And I'm left with having to have an operation on my eye and um, other surgery on my eye because of what happened. What and I'm happened? losing the sight in my, my, my left, left eye. Yeah. Pamela, I wonder what happened leading up to this? Because you were, you were arrested, you were asleep in your car. Then what happened? Well, w what happened, um, I'd fallen asleep in my car. I, I was awake when the uh, first officer came up. And um, I asked him for jump leads, the, if he'd got any jump leads, because the car had broken down. And he became exceedingly aggressive, handcuffed me, um, threw me to the ground and threw me over the back of the car. And I kept saying, what have I done wrong? What, what, I don't understand. I thought it was a case of you know, severe mistaken identity. Um, and he just kept saying, all they seemed to say was, shut up, shut up, shut up. Um, with other adjectives in front of the shut up and I was terrified on the way to the police station and, and when I got into the custody suite um, I thought well it, it will be sorted out because there'll be somebody there that will explain and when I said why am I here they just kept on saying shut up and they they removed my shoes they removed my uh, watch and then threw me into a cell without explaining do you think there could be in it was any as if way? They were all on drugs or something. Right. Yeah. I just wondered if there could be in any way some sort of justification for the way this officer behaved. That he was saying that you were being quite rude and abusive to him, and you were quite agitated, and he, he found that quite intimidating. Although he's well over six foot, and you're significantly smaller than that. Foot three. <laughs> yes, and I'm I'm a little older than he is. Um, I was very very polite, um, but when uh, they kept on telling me to shut up, to shut up, to shut up. I was terrified. I've never been in trouble with the police before. I was terrified. I was put in handcuffs. I was thrown to the floor at the side of the road um, by another officer who seemed to act in exactly the same way as um, Sergeant Andrews. And I thought I must, they must have mistaken me for somebody who'd done a terrible crime. But whatever crime you've done or haven't done, does that justify what they do? Is this what happens in police cells? Still can't believe it happened. It's surreal. It was when they said it's a six month sentence and he may serve three months. I actually felt physically sick. That's 59-year-old Pamela Somerville recounting her assault by a police officer inside a cell. CCTV pictures show Sergeant Mark Andrews dragging her across the floor and then throwing her to the ground. The footage shows her lying on the floor before struggling to get up with blood pouring from a head wound. Miss Somerville was arrested in July 2008 after being found asleep in her car. She was detained for failing to provide a sample for a breath test. Until this week of all the sentencing, I was just coming to terms with it in my head. I mean, I had to have um, lots of counselling. Um, I was on the point of suicide because I just lost my faith in everybody.
Former soldier Andrews has been sentenced to six months in prison after being convicted of assault of causing actual bodily harm. Assistant Chief Constable Patrick Geenty spoke outside Oxford Magistrates Court after the sentencing. The officer let the public down, he let his colleagues down and he has let himself down. He was a disgrace. I am proud of the officer who came forward and reported him to his supervisor. That officer upholds the standards of the service that we all expect. I couldn't believe that he might be serving three months when I was certainly a prisoner at home for more months than that after the injury because it was so bad and the aftermath was so bad and he could get three months if I had done that to somebody I wonder how long I would get <laughs> I don't feel vindictive towards him which is strange I just feel I don't think I've got any feelings the joy would be a letter of apology from Sergeant Andrews, which of course will never happen, will it? But that would be that would be nice. And what would be nice is, and I think it will happen, that the police force make sure this never ever happens again. And if there are any other policemen like him, hopefully this will prevent them being like him and hopefully they will be weeded out but maybe a longer sentence might have been more appropriate in this, this situation